Price is Right pricing game recap for Wednesday, April 16th, 2014. Here were today's pricing games. Switcheroo, side by side, make your move. Gas money, grocery game, and bargain game, aka Barker's Bargain Bar. The first contestant was Chanel. She bid $1,200 on an Apple iPhone 5C with two cases and a one-year calling plan included, brought out by the dashing Daniel Goddard from The Young and the Restless. The actual retail price, $1,447. Chanel played switcheroo for a chance to win a Toyota Tacoma regular cab 4x2 truck modeled by Daniel. And Chanel was so excited to see that truck, she actually went to it while George described the features of that truck. Well, you know, she didn't win it just yet. She has to play her game first in order to do that. Now, uh, here are the four small prizes that were over by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. We had a 72-ounce Mavia water filtration pitcher, a steam iron from the brand Shark, as I looked up on the Price is Right blog site I go on, a Cuisinart ice cream maker, and a Bissell Little Green Compact Deep Cleaner. As we know, Chanel has 30 seconds to place numbers that have missing spaces. So, in her first 30 seconds, she placed four for the missing number of the truck, making its price $21,543. She placed six as the missing number for the pitcher, making its price $65. She placed two as the missing number for the steam iron, making it $20. She placed three as the missing number for the ice cream maker, making its price $30. And for the deep cleaner, she placed nine, believing its price was $90. So, when time ran out... We had to see how many Chanel got right. Now, out of the five prizes, how many did she get right? Only one right. Now, Drew offered Chanel another round to make some changes. Or she could keep the one prize she has correct. It could be the truck. Well, Chanel decided to go another round, and I don't blame her. So, that's her second 30 seconds. And this time, she placed two as the missing number for the truck, making its price $21,523. She placed four as the missing number for the pitcher, making its price $45. She placed six as the missing number for the steam iron, making its price $60. She kept the three for the ice cream maker, giving its price $30. And she left the nine for the deep cleaner, keeping it at $90. So, once again, when time ran out... We have to find out how many Chanel had right this time around. Out of the five prizes, how many did Chanel get right this time? I will tell you that she got... Three right! An improvement from her first chance, where she only got one right. Now, Rachel came up on the turntable to reveal the prizes Chanel won. 
The first prize that she got right, which wasn't the truck, well, besides, well, a small prize that wasn't the truck, let's put it like that. First prize she got correct was the pitcher. That was $45. The second prize Chanel won was the deep cleaner. That was $90. And now for the third and final prize. What was that last prize Chanel won? Well, it's hard for me to tell you this, guys and gals, but the third prize Chanel got correct was... Chanel wins the truck! Oh, nice! Okay, the second contestant was Evan, who teaches at the United States Marine Corps School of Infantry. Salute you for your service, Evan. He bid $700 on an Xbox One game package modeled by Daniel. Actual retail price... $740. Evan missed the price by 40 bucks. He played side-by-side -side for a chance to win a nine-piece Ashley Furniture Industries living room group. It includes a rich leather sofa, a love seat and chair with ottoman, plus a cocktail table and more, plus a 50-inch Panasonic 1080p Plasma HDTV, that has full HD picture quality, eco mode, and power save options, a prize package modeled by Rachel. Evan placed the 80 portion of the price to the board's right side, making its price $6,180, instead of placing it on the left side to make the price $8,061. 6180 did seem pretty good to me, and most of the audience felt that way too. And when the actual retail price lit up, it turned out that it was... $6,180! Evan is a winner! And USA... USA! USA! The third contestant was Katie, who is originally from North Carolina, but now lives in Los Angeles. She uh, looks like one of my friend's friends, named Jennifer. She bid $850 on a pair of three-speed his and her beach cruiser bicycles brought out by Daniel in front of contestants row. Actual retail price, $1,100. Katie played Neil Rocks 87's favorite pricing game, Make Your Move, for a chance to win these Three prizes. We had a portable charcoal grill that cooks six burgers at a time. Mm -hmm. A Margaritaville drink maker that has automatic settings. A rotating ice chute that swings from one pitcher to the next with six glasses included. For the most part, the charcoal grill was um, camera zoomed. 
And the drink maker was modeled by Rachel. She, of course, did model the charcoal grill before the camera zoomed into the grill. And a Beachcomber Hot Tubs Hot Tub that has seating for eight, features 23 jet ports, and a high-performing water cleaning system modeled by Daniel. Now, here were the numbers from left to right. 406-995-760. And for this playing of Make Your Move, they used the pushover slash line them up thank you. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick with the original thank you. Here it is. Katie slid the uh, two numbers in the price of the charcoal grill uh, to $40. That's where she placed the red marker. She placed the three numbers for the drink maker to $760 for the yellow marker. And for the four numbers, she slid the green marker to $6,995. So, let's review. She has $40 for the charcoal grill, $760 for the drink maker, and $6,995 for the hot tub. I have to tell you, I'm feeling very confident on these prices that Katie chose. Now, let's find out. Did Katie win all three prizes? She sure did! Katie won herself $7,795 in prizes! And a very easy win in Make Your Move! Okay, the fourth contestant was Forrest. No, not the actor Forrest Whitaker. Uh, on Forrest's shirt, it mentioned that he was celebrating his parents' 60th anniversary. Forrest bid $651 on a Sirius satellite radio package with a two-year subscription. And that... Actually, I think that, that was the prize that Daniel Goddard uh, modeled in front of contestants' row. Uh, the beach cruisers were not in front of contestants row. So for that little boo-boo. Now that I feel better about uh, admitting that mistake, I will tell you that the actual retail price of the Sirius Satellite Radio Package with the two-year subscription was $678. Forrest was off by $27. Pretty good bid. He played Gas Money for a chance to win a Mazda 2 Sport modeled by Rachel, along with $10,000 in cash. Here are the five car prices from left to right. $21,150, $18,685, and $16,355. For Forrest's first pick of a car price, he believed had gas money behind it, and not the pink slip to the car, he chose $21,150. Rachel revealed that price to have $3,000. So, Forrest could take the $3,000 and quit, or keep on going. Forrest decided to keep on going. He next selected... $19,770. And behind that price, Rachel showed us... $4,000! So, Forrest now has $7,000 in gas money. Did he decide to take it and quit or keep on going? Forrest decided to keep on going. He next selected $18,685. And when Rachel revealed what was behind that car price, it turned out that it was... $1,000! So, Forrest has $8,000. Now, does he decide to go on 
then find the one car price that has two thousand dollars behind it, or does he quit with the eight grand? Forrest decided to take the eight thousand dollars, so he was playing it safe. But let's find out what car price had the two thousand dollars, and which one had the pink slip to the car. Well. When Drew and Rachel did the reveals, Drew revealed, let's see, $17,470 to have $2,000. That was the car price that had $2,000. And the pink slip to the car was behind what Rachel showed, $16,355. So, Forrest wins $8,000 in gas money. And this is a consolation win. Alright. The uh, fifth contestant was Dawn. And we found out that she is from the home state of myself in Sports Guy 528, New Jersey. I think she mentioned that she works at a school in Bergen County. Okay, she bid, get this, $5. Just $5. And Abraham Lincoln, on three pairs of Kate Spade glitter designer shoes, modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $794. So, Dawn was off by $789. She was, um, Dawn wore a pretty cool Plinko shirt, but unfortunately for her, she didn't play Plinko. She played Grocery Game for a chance to win a Kawasaki Ninja 650 motorcycle that has a 649cc engine and 6-speed transmission written by Daniel, a prize worth $7,699. Rachel was the cashier, and here were the five grocery products. See if you can guess the theme. We had a 10-count pack of Capri Sun Fruit Punch Juice Pouches, 25% less sugar. A 21-ounce canister of Comet 2 times Cleaning Power Bleach Cleanser. A Luna Iced Oatmeal Raisin Snack Bar. An 8-ounce jar of Star Sun-Dried Julienne Style Cherries and a three-pack of Orbit Sugar-Free Spearmint Gum. In case you can't tell, this had a bit of a Things in Outer Space theme for today. Pretty cool. Now, for Dawn's first selection, she decided to go with the Luna Iced Oatmeal Raisin Snack Bar. She decided to buy ten of those. So, remember, the goal is for her to reach... Between twenty and twenty-one dollars. So each one of those iced oatmeal raisin snack bars were a dollar twenty-nine, and ten of them totaled twelve dollars ninety cents. Don now had to spend between seven dollars and a dime and eight dollars and a dime to win. Don now decided to go with the orbit. Spearmint gum, and she decided to buy two of those. Each pack of the Orbit sugar-free spearmint gum went for two ninety-nine. Two of them totaled five dollars ninety-eight cents, plus twelve dollars ninety cents gives her a total at the moment eighteen dollars eighty-eight cents. Now. Dawn had to spend between $1.12 and $2.12 to win. She decided to buy one of the Comet. If it was between $1.12 and $2.12, Dawn is a winner. And when Drew revealed the price of the Comet, it turned out that it was... Oh, 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 $1.69 plus 
$1.88. Totals $20.57. Don was definitely cutting it, uh, cutting it thin, like uh, Drew said. But the important thing is she won. Great win. Okay. Now, the sixth and final contestant was Timothy, who we found out in the second showcase showdown is from Florida, home state of A Pizzle 90. And he was wearing a shirt that read Plinko or Bust. Well, I'll tell you if he played Plinko in a little bit. First off, I will tell you that he bid $600 on a pair of Samsung tablets brought down from the jewelry elevator. And the actual retail price of that pair of Samsung tablets were... $600 exactly! Timothy wins a $500 bonus! So that's some good birthday money for him. Now, did Timothy play Plinko? No, he did not. He played Bargain Game, a.k.a. Barker's Bargain Bar, for a chance to win these two prizes. A trip for two to Panama City, Panama. That is round trip coach from Los Angeles for a six night stay at the Intercontinental Playa Bonita Resort and Spa with daily breakfast included, plus a guided sightseeing tour modeled by Rachel with a bargain price of $3,737. And a trip for two to Austin, Texas. Yeah! As a member of the audience shouted, I believe, when George mentioned the uh, Lone Star State's capital. It is round trip coach in Los Angeles and it includes a six night stay in a deluxe guest room at the Lakeway Resort and Spa plus a two hour Segway tour modeled by Daniel with a bargain price of $3,569. Timothy believed that the trip to Panama City was the bigger bargain and I was thinking that way myself. So let's go over to the trip to Austin first by Daniel. Bargain price $3,569. Actual retail price $5,569. For a difference of $2,000. Oh boy. Now over to Rachel. Bargain price for the trip to Panama City, 3737 Actual retail price, $4,737 for a difference of $1,000. Oh. Well, Drew mentioned that the trip to Austin in um, was a four-star diamond hotel. Uh, well, that was the difference maker there. Now it is time for the acknowledgement section. Here's what BJMTV Canada's own Benjamin James Mason has today. Switcheroo got its first car win since New Year's Eve 2012. I thought the game would go without a win at all. Oh, well, yeah. All right. Price is right. Pricing and recap acknowledgement section. Take two. Action. Here's what BJMTV Canada's own Benjamin James Mason has today. Switcheroo got its first car win since New Year's Eve 2012. I thought the game would go without a win all season, but no. Thank goodness. Bargain game was played for trips for the first time this season. Finally. I know you must be wondering, why is Rob Wilson not coming back to The Price is Right? He just got a role on Days of Our Lives. Good luck on that. Yes, all the best to Rob on his soap opera role. You know what? To let out my heel side, I am very glad he has left the show. But, unfortunately, there's going to be another male model search. 
to fill Rob Wilson's void. And for male fans of the show like myself and Neorox87, who are pretty much very happy to hear when uh, Rob Wilson was leaving Prices Right and then finding out the male mo another male mall search was going to happen, this sound best describes it. I know, but that's what Mike Richards wants. Okay, so, uh, hey, we had a pretty good show today on the, as we reached the midweek point. Four pricing games won in their entirety. They were switcheroo, side-by-side, -side, make your move, and grocery game. We gave away in switcheroo a water filtration pitcher and a compact deep cleaner. Aside from the truck. We gave away a grand total of $8,500 in cash. Forrest won $8,000 in gas money. And Timothy won $500 for a perfect bid. Now, yes, uh, all of today's contestants do get titles. The MVPs of The Price is Right are Chanel, Evan, Katie, and... Dawn for their pricing game wins. Contestant recognition contestants are Forrest for his small, well not really small, for his uh, gas money bailout. And for winning a showcase, which I will get to in a minute. And for Timothy, he is a contestant recognition contestant for his perfect bid. Now on to the showcases. The top winner in today's showcase was Katie and the runner-up was Forrest. Showcase number one. That included uh, his and her designer sunglasses, a collection that was camera zoom, but were modeled by Rachel. Also modeled by Rachel was a 27-inch HP NV Phoenix desktop computer with printer included, and a Hyundai Elantra SE modeled by Daniel. Katie chose to bid on that showcase. She bid $22,000. Now for showcase number two. That included a six-piece lightweight and easy-to-carry beach gear. That includes two chairs, one cooler, two towels, plus a shade tent. Excuse me. A trip for two to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That is round-trip coach from Los Angeles. It includes a six-night stay in an oceanfront family suite at the Coral Beach Resort and Suites. Plus two skip the line tickets to the Sky Wheel, the big Ferris wheel down in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The beach gear and the trip to Myrtle Beach were modeled by Daniel. And a West White Potter 15 foot premium edition sailboat that has teak cabin top handrails and Lumar ports with stainless steel with an easy loader trader loader trailer included, modeled by Rachel. Forrest bid $21,500. Okay, now for the showcase reveal. Drew went to Katie first. Katie's bid, $22,000. Actual retail price, $23,327. A difference of $1,327. Now over to Forrest. His bid, $21,500. Actual retail price, $22,354. A difference of $854. Forrest wins his showcase. And on today's Price is Right, Force won a grand total in cash and prizes of $31,032. Congratulations, Forrest. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by Angry Orchard Hard Cider. So will you be seeing me again tomorrow, or will you see Martinus 51989 if Triple Play gets played? 
Just got to tune in and watch The Price is Right to find out. This is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>